Good morning, crew. Saturday morning, so we got up a little bit later. Mom went to the park to do some high fitness with their workout group, and I'm getting ready to go on my hike. So I said, you guys want to go on the hike? And Bentley said, yeah, and Lennon said, no. And then I said, well, Bentley earned some cookie because we got some crumble cookie last night, and I think that changed Lennon's mind because now Lennon mm -hmm. said, well, yeah, I do want to go, huh? Is that what changed your mind? Kinda. What's one of your favorite things to do? Hike. If we go from here, it might be four miles. If we go here, up through the mountain, and cross up the freeway, we can go through the desert. It might be a little harder because it's just the road. You like the harder, huh? I don't care if it's hard. I just care if I can get exercise. This is the good life. It's a little chilly this morning. It's not too bad, though. We're in the middle, middle of the desert. So this isn't too far from our house, but we decided to take the back roads on our walk today. Holbrook welcomes you. All right, that was fun. I, I almost stepped in this hole. Right yeah. Ooh, was that scary? All right, so London on her shoe Got these crazy stickers that we get around here sometimes. Kind of looks like a caterpillar bug, huh? Yeah, I thought it was a caterpillar, and then I started kicking my shoe around. You're gonna hop over. Go! Now we have to cross the highway right here, but when we get there, we're gonna just run. It says, run. Woo! Did it. Now we're on a new road we've never been on before. Are we lost? I don't know where it goes. <laughs> so we may have to cross country it here in a little bit. Here's the good news. We've gone one mile, but our pace is 21 minutes a mile. We gotta pick up the pace, people. We're going so slow, but we're having fun, huh? My dad used to cross the desert all the time when I was a kid. He Down by the golf course. We moved to Grandma's house, house so we can play in the desert. That's true. I have to show you all my old stomping grounds in the hills over there. You feeling good? But now we're in the deserts where I used to go play when I was a kid down here. You look way out there. See my finger? That's the golf course. But when I was a kid, we always thought there was a wagon out there. So over there. And we decided to try to walk out to it. And it's not a wagon. It's just a big rock. And that, the, the black part underneath, it's just a shadow. Also way off there in the desert. Oh, right there, there you can see that's the painted desert. See all those different color rocks out there? That's the Painted Desert. Yeah, it's a Petrified Forest. There's the golf course. That's where I was Frisbee golfing the other day. The Petrified Forest is closed right now because of the corona. <laughs> but then we could sneak in. Sneak in the backside, that's true. So the thing about trudging through the desert is there's snakes out here. You don't have to be afraid of snakes, but you do need to be alert. Because when I was out here as a kid, a couple times we, we found snakes. Yeah. Remember when we found a snake in our backyard? Five times. Five times, you found a snake a lot. So that's true. Um, maybe I'll find a picture where we had to catch that snake. Let's see, I'll look back in my footage and see if I can find it. We had to catch a snake in our yard once. And I don't like snakes. I don't like them at all. You think I'm scared of spiders? Well, snakes are worse. Well, we veered around someone's land. That's why we went to the desert. But we got stuck on the wrong side of a barbed wire fence. So my kids are about to learn a very important skill, how to get through a barbed wire fence. Now barbed wire, see these little pokey things? Yeah. They'll hurt if you get caught by them. So when you go through a barbed wire fence, it's really not that hard, you just need two people. One person's gonna step right here and push down and one person, and you pull up like this. Ready? Now you can climb through there. Go ahead, just be really careful one at a time. Yeah, now, who's gonna help me out? Step on it, Bentley. Why do, you, why do they have barbed wire fences? Do you guys know why those are there? So animals don't get through? That's exactly right. But what about bunnies? They can get so through. So it's not about really the small animals, it's about big animals. Cause like you know, that land there. is for cows actually. So they want to keep cows in there. So when I was a kid, this was one of our favorite places to come play. There wasn't as many weeds in it, it was empty. And this is where water gets drained to. Yeah. We'd use this to play prisoner. Ready, watch this. 
Whoa, climb in. Ready, get in. And boom, I locked you in prison. And you can climb through there. Look in there. Is that cool? London, are you going to go in? We locked him up in this concrete box. Nope. Ow, I hit my head. <laughs> Careful. Wow. We should come out here and play too. <laughs> Mom came to the rescue to bring us some water. Love you guys. Make sure to put chocolate chips. Chocolate Make chips? Chocolate Who is this guy? In your protein pancake? <laughs> yes. Yes. Thanks, babe. Bye, okay, let's go. Allie came, met us, and brought us some water. And then Bentley said, hey, the disc golf is still in the van. Since we're going to walk to the golf course, maybe we should play some golf while we're out there. Okay, lesson for these young kids. Ready? So it's, um, what time is it? It's 8, 12 in the morning. And uh, well, look what we've already got to do. And Macy and Ella are still asleep. Aren't you glad you don't just sleep away your life? Yeah. Granted, it's not that late, but when you get up early, you get so many more opportunities to have fun and do things. And so sleeping in, it's just not worth it. Get up, go do something. What, what's one of your favorite parts of going on hikes? Um, our parents telling us what they've done as a kid, like their life stories. Yeah, she loves when we tell us stories when we were kids. So uh, this this hike is bringing back some memories for me. So as a kid too, we would come down here with our BB guns. See right here around that corner right there is, there used to be a bunch of stuff out there and we would like set up our BB guns and shoot at it. And I think the city finally came out here and cleaned it up, but it was like old cars and stuff. Might still be there actually. Chug a lug lug. Uh oh, we got a man down. She, we got a big owl. Was there something in your shoe? Did it feel like a poke? Yes. Probably a sticker or something. I found two petrified wood. She found really small pieces of petrified wood out here. Got our little petrified wood hunter here. Mm. Way to go. What'd you find, London? This flower. That's a pretty flower. Right out in the middle of the road, huh? Who says pretty things can't grow out in the middle of nowhere? Just telling the kids that when we got a little farther down, it's gonna get sandier, almost like a beach. This is our Arizona beach. It's way over there. So I think we have about a mile to go. That's your guess, one mile. So, so far we've hiked three miles. There's a rabbit. All right, so far we've gone 3.02 miles and it's taken us 76 minutes, so a long time. But it's only 8.30 in the morning. That's what happens when we got up and going earlier. Oh, what did you find? She found a bigger piece of petrified wood. Oh, she's got quite the collection. I got my goal at 8.30 in the morning. Boom. So I, I walked six, for 60 minutes. That's when I get my goal, at 8.30 in the morning. So childhood story, when I was 16 years old, I had a little Toyota Tacoma truck and it was super light and small. It wasn't four wheel drive, but we didn't care. We treated it like a four wheel drive car for sure. And we'd bring it down into these roads and just off road on it. And it was so much fun. And we weren't very nice to that truck though. It eventually had problems, but we'd get it stuck out here in this dirt. And then we'd have to dig it out and put boards underneath it and try to get it out. See that big old stink bug? Ah, oh, it's gonna get us! Bentley is gonna get you! You know when it's gonna spray you? No. When it sticks its butt in the air. You see it sticks its butt in the air, run. It's, it's hard to walk through this sand, huh? All right, looking back, there we go. We were all the way up on top of that hill before. There's the golf course. So the river is gonna be right up next to the golf course. Better drink out in the middle of the desert. Don't drink it all. Share some with Bentley. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert. If you haven't watched the video, sorry, but we're telling stories. We're telling stories. Right. So in one of our videos, um, we went to Uptown Jungle, and so we so we went there. And then the next day, we were that we were gonna go there, cause we were like, should we go there? No, we shouldn't. The other day, it closed that hmm. we were gonna go there. So I'm glad we went there that day and not the other That's day. That's true. Can you see the river? Right. It actually looks a little wet. We might be in trouble. The river dries out, but there's always little puddles that remain. So we have to just find a path that's dried out. This is the little Colorado River. 
So here we go. We got to find a place where we can cross. Looks like right over here, huh? The shortest jump is going to be right here, huh? Let me, t let me test it first. Oop, you sink a little bit, but we're good. Go ahead. It's kind of pretty. Kind of cool, huh? Those little colors. They're that red dirt of the painted desert. That's almost like a painting. Like if I just took a picture of that, maybe I'll stop and take a picture of it. It looks like a painting. Don't try, try your hardest not to get mud on your shoes. This, this stuff does not come off easy. It's like a clay. Oh, we're sinking. Oh, 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 oh. there's quicksand. Not really, but it's kind of like quicksand. I was sinking right there. I think we made it. Climb that hill, buddy. So let's say it rains tonight. Could we do this walk tomorrow? Nope. We'd be, we'd be stuck on the other side of that river. We can see the golf course called the Hidden Cove Golf Course. Do you think you know why they call it the yeah, Hidden Cove? Because it's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So there's the Hidden Cove Golf Course. It looks like a puzzle through here. So we found a road that will lead us to the golf course. We made it to the golf course. Careful walking across those. Cattle guard. Don't fall in the cattle guard. Good job. Ah, we are at 4.09 miles. Took us an hour and 46 minutes. What is your, what is your step counter say, Bentley? How many steps have you gone? Boom. <laughs> How many steps did your counter have? 11,257. Way to go, guys. Four miles. I'm proud of these guys. They did it. They made it all the way to the golf course. We hiked from our house, which is basically over that plateau. So we live on the downside of that plateau back there. We hiked up to the top of it, came across the top of it, and then we hiked down through that river all the way to here. Way to go, guys. Was that fun? Yeah. yeah. We woke up this morning. Did you have any idea you were going to do that? I'm like, I'm going to sit on the couch and watch some TV. And then dad, mom's going to be done with her class. And she's going to come back. And dad's going to not be back for a while because he's going to have to go on that four-mile walk. So. And then all of a sudden, it turned into an adventure. We get somewhere where we can dump out our seats. I'm going to lay out my collection. There you go. All that sand was in my suit. <laughs> was it a this. bunch? And that, oh geez. Lennon's first on the, on the course. Yeah, all the way down there. And there's the chuck. Oh yeah. All right, Bentley, you're up. Ready? Oh, Bentley's is pretty good too. About the same. Dad's gonna try to beat us. And he beat both of us. Ah, oh, hit the tree. Whoa, so close. Ah. That's the win. That was the win. Boom. Well, you look just darn excited. How was, your, how was the walk this morning? It was awesome. awesome and exhausting. I would do it every day. I would too. What was the best part about it? We get to play at the golf course. <laughs> exploring. Exploring? Well, yeah, exploring. What was the f coolest thing we saw? Jackrabbit. Yeah. Jackrabbit. Yeah. Yes. yes. The jail pretty cool? Yes. How about climbing through the fence? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were we were off-roading, man. We went over like three fences on them. Went into a jail. We went into some tunnels and some pipes. It was fun. We went under a freeway, through a river, over a mountain, to a golf course. Through a tunnel. Through another tunnel. Climbed down in a tunnel. Climbed in a little cement box. <laughs> and it's only 9 o'clock in the morning. We still have a whole day in front of us. 9.30. We still have a whole day in front of us. And I have 13,640. I have 13,001. Boom. And London found on her walk um, a bunch of petrified wood. I don't know if this is petrified wood. Hmm. Comment down below if you think this is petrified wood. If it's not, it's still a really cool rock. If you guys like all of our videos, you better do. Um, 
um, subscribe. You gotta Hit subscribe. Hit the like button. We've had people not subscribing. And don't not subscribe. Or else I'll, you'll see me in your dreams. And we already got somebody who did all three of those. It's our cousin. <laughs> Way to go, cousin. Way to go, Lincoln. Shout out Lincoln. He did all three. He liked, subscribed, and hit, hit the, the bell. bell. There we go. Comment down below if these are petrified wood. And. Cool. Well, we're so grateful that mom came and picked us up, right, guys? Hey, you're welcome. We walked four miles out here, but we didn't want to walk four oh, miles back. Dang.